doesn't happen that often, but I hit the wrong button. I hit the red button as opposed to the pause button. So I don't want to have to do the video over again. So I'm going to do this in about three minutes. And what I'm going to suggest is that those of you who are paying attention, you know what? I still got to find the document because it was opened earlier and now I got to find it. So give me a second, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, see, it didn't take that long and I hit the right button this time. Ladies and gentlemen, let me go ahead and show you that this is the actual Statute at Large 68 Congress. And it's actually called Statute at Large. It actually is the uh, United States Federal, or excuse me, United States Arbitration Act. That was the original name, but I believe it does say up here that it can be named or will be named, blah, 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 or known as. So that's the section I'm looking for right now. Congress and enable maritime transactions here and after defined means charter parties, bills of lading, water carriers, agreement relating to warfage, supplies, furnished vessels, and repair of vessels, collisions, or other matters of furnished vehicles. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I never even thought to do a contract with the Department of Motor Vehicles and do a notice of change in terms of agreement with the Department of Motor Vehicles because you do have a contract with them. You have an application, a contract with the Department of Motor Vehicles. Don't let nobody tell you that this man don't come up with some stuff. Okay. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. This is so that you guys know that, as I said from day one, I'll say it day in. I ain't no joke. Okay. Uh, an act to make valid and enforceable. So, you know what? I'm looking for the part. So it don't say United States Arbitration Act. It doesn't say the Federal Arbitration Act. It just starts off with Section 1, Section 2, Section 3. Okay, so it was the United States Arbitration Act. It's They changed it to the Federal Arbitration Act in 19... Blah, 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 blah. What is that? Uh, what did they say? This is February 12, 1925. Let me show you the act, February 25th, uh, whatever, February 12, 1925. Let me show you section number nine. Congress likes to mess with stuff, and they shouldn't be messing with nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, section number nine, when you look at it from the original act, it does not say sections 10 and 11, like 9 says today. It literally says, as prescribed in the next two sections. The new one says sections 10 and 11. Okay? Now, we told you we are going to show you number 12. Only because I came up with that DMV thing, ladies and gentlemen, is it taking going to take longer. I apologize. But think about it. You have a contract with the Department of Motor Vehicles. You have that driver's license, ladies and gentlemen. There is nothing that says that you cannot recontract with those idiots. Give me a second. Let me get back to section number. Because now the new one that Congress did has a section number 16. That's your right to appeal. Okay? They added that. We're going to go to section number. Where's section number 12? Where y'all at? That's 11, 12 that notice of a motion to vacate, modify, or correct an award must be served. That's even if the judge does a motion to vacate. When the court acts upon its own motion, it has to be within, hold on, see that word, within three months after the award was filed or delivered. Only three months for everybody. So if you wait past the three months, can't nobody challenge the award by law. And this is the argument all of you need to be making. Go back in the court, do a motion for reconsideration, and tell them they had no jurisdiction. You cannot vacate. I don't care if it was by undue means. They had 90 days to challenge the so-called undue means if they did not do it. Now, hold on. If you decided to go back in the court before the 90 days were up, your S-O-L. So out of luck. 
<laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is the information I wanted to bring to your attention. This is the conversation I was having with the gentleman today as we were talking. This is what came to me because I didn't see the act in front of me. I remembered the wording of the act and I pointed it out to him and I showed it to him what it said. His case is his was almost a year after the award. He went in just at the deadline. Okay. And the other party wants to do a motion to uh, counterclaim and do a motion for sanctions and all this other stupid stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, they cannot. They don't have the right. After 90 days is after 90 days. All of y'all need to be going in the court and letting them know. I will try. I got to work on the other thing first. I will try to put together a simple motion explaining this, bringing a point home, reconsideration for all of you. We'll put it up there so that you'll have it, okay? Doesn't matter if it's a form template. All of their documents are form templates, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead and look at their so-called notice of cover sheet or subpoenas. They're all form templates. So there's nothing wrong with using a form template, people. All right. Y'all take care. Now remember, hold on. This is the original act. They amended it in 1946. However, challenge the 1946 act. Challenge that amendment. Because you're going to find when they amended it in 1946, they were operating off of that stupid uh, premise that they could change things. Okay? What you guys need to understand, when Congress enacts a law, they're not supposed to be enacting laws. The laws are supposed to be enacted by the people, not by Congress. What do you mean? Congress are the ones who's supposed to, the people tell Congress this is what we want. Congress is the one who's supposed to propose it to the people and the people vote on it. That's how we get amendments. It's supposed to be amendments to the Constitution. The people are supposed to vote on that. That's not what's happening, ladies and gentlemen. Congress is sitting up here coming up with all kind of statutes. We've already shown you over and over and over again where the law, their law says that statutes are not law. I wish I could show you guys the document, but I will. we will be going over that document where we are. That was the spinners, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Felipe, um, we will be showing you the document where we're challenging jurisdiction and challenging the rules of the court. And we're going to be challenging the statute. It will be, you will have to send it to the presiding judge of the court and the attorney general. That is the suggestion. Okay. That is the suggestion. I am with the product, the antivirus. I'm updating on both computers because I have the Windows based computer and this computer. So the antivirus is updating on both computers in my background and I'm about to go lay down while this stuff updates in the background. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you. I'm sorry that I have to split it up in two videos. I will try to bring the two videos together and make them one, but if I can't, if I can't, just please forgive me. Please forgive me. Okay, uh, Brian Adams, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that this information proves to be beneficial. Like I said, I cannot keep pulling rabbits out of hats, but as long as I focus on the law and the wording of the law, I will always find loopholes that they put into the law. Compare Section 12 here with the Section 12 of the current Arbitration Act, and you'll see it says the same thing. Within 90 days, anybody doing a motion trying to challenge the arbitration award has to do it within 90 days. That is the statute of limitation. There is no leeway. The Supreme Court just came up with that uh, Archer. By the way, they're trying to go back in on Archer because they're trying to say that the Supreme Court left room for this and left room for that. So the Supreme Court will be hearing Archer again. But because the original decision with Archer was unanimous, the Supreme Court won't be able to undo what it already said it did. All right, I got to go. That sound right there is me uh, depleted on one battery. So I now have to plug into the other battery. So I got to go. The other solar array, that's what I got to plug into. Got to go. It was a cloudy day, so we didn't get a lot of sun. And so I've been plugged in all day on computers all day, running both computers in this Mac. This Mac 
does not use less energy. The Mac uses more energy, twice as much energy as the PC. Everybody and their grandmama told me, I'll go with a Mac. It's a much better, please, mother. Anyway, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. You guys have a very good day, very good evening, very good afternoon. We will see you all the next time. Hey, Federal Arbitration Act is your best friend. Okay? Federal Arbitration Act is your best friend.